everybody, it's Madison and I'm back with another video for you guys today. This one's actually going to be a little bit different than the videos that I typically do. As you know, I put out quite a few covers, at least as frequently as I can, but I've been getting in some very, very frequent requests from all of you to go back on one of the songs that I did a couple years ago and do a tutorial. So... It's not just one request that I've received to do this, and um, it's been it's been very, very, very many <laughs> from both this year and years ago. So I figured probably about time that I actually showed you guys how I did this song. This is actually one of the songs that I'm most proud of, and it was not a song that I was planning on having over 13,000 views now? What? <laughs> you guys, this is absolutely insane. None of my other videos have this many views for sure. And not that I even put out these videos for that purpose, but it definitely makes me feel good to know that um, I'm being able to put out some content for you guys that you enjoy seeing. So I'm excited that I can kind of show you how I play this song today. As I've mentioned before about this artist, Simmel, he's actually one of my very, very favorite artists, and I started following his music a couple years ago. But this song, Where's My Love, is definitely his most popular song, and one that I fell in love with very early on in listening to his music. And so I was super motivated to create a cover version of it for myself that I really liked, and this is still one that I enjoy playing from time to time, but it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a really, really long while since I've even touched this ukulele that um, I played <laughs> for that cover because my other ukulele that I've been using recently um, actually has a low G on the top string and so it'll sound a little bit different than um, playing with this tenor ukulele that I played in that cover which has a high G. So, to play this song starting off, I'm using a tenor ukulele um, just to demonstrate, but any ukulele will work perfectly, perfectly fine to play this song. You also are going to preferably need what is called a capo, and this is just mine here. It's super cheap online if you want to buy one. Otherwise, the notes that you're going to be playing are going to be in a lower key. So it's gonna be, it's just gonna sound a little bit different. Otherwise, you might wanna look into investing into one of these. They're really only a couple bucks on Amazon, so it won't cost you very much to just hop on there and order one. It should be there in a couple days, so. Next, what you're gonna do with this little thing is you're gonna put it on the third fret of your ukulele here. Um, so it just kind of pinches on there like this. Right on the third fret. And so once you have that on there, that will allow you to be able to play the song in the correct key, which will make things so much easier. Okay, the next part of learning this song is to learn the chords, but luckily this song is super, super easy to learn and it will not take you very long. If you've been playing ukulele for even just a short amount of time, these are chords that you should already know, but as a refresher, I'll just go through them. So the chords that you'll be using in this song mainly are going to be A minor, C, F, and D minor. And then there's going to be a couple little variations in the chorus. But for now, just for the verses and majority of the song, those are the four chords that you're going to want to know. And pretty much the entire chorus, you're just going to be repeating those four chords in that pattern. At the beginning of the song, I play it a little bit differently than when I get into the verses and the chorus a little bit later on. And so to make it super easy, at the beginning, I just individually pluck each of these strings. So the beginning is just going to sound something like this. And then you just continue doing that as you sing for the first verse. And so I'll go ahead and I'll sing the first verse. If you want, you can play along. Just practice plucking each of these strings in that order. Yeah, 
that's my love She hides away like a And then you're going to get into a small variation here. And so the chords for that variation part are going to be G, E minor, and F, which we already have played before in the previous part. So you should already know that one. And you're also just going to continue for this little section, you're just going to continue to pluck each of the strings again as you were previously. So G. E minor and F and then I plucked that last string twice on that part so that last chord again with the F is gonna be and so you're just gonna add that part in there's not really any words there to that part so you just play that once through and then we're gonna begin strumming but the pattern that you're gonna be using is the same a minor, C, F, D minor. And so we're now just instead of plucking each of them, we're just gonna strum. And there is a specific strumming pattern that I like to use and prefer to use, but you can use any strumming pattern that you think is gonna work for you. Since I've had a lot of people ask about the strumming pattern, I'll definitely show it to you, but don't feel like you have to use this as your personal strumming pattern for this song. Whatever feels comfortable and sounds good is super, super perfect. So the strumming pattern that I like to use, and I'll go ahead and show this to you just playing an A minor chord, since that will be the first chord that will get played, just kind of sounds like this. that I'll go ahead and slow it down for you guys and show you it's gonna be down up 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 down and you just repeat it like that I hope that that makes sense um like I said don't stress about it if that's uncomfortable for you but for me, this is something that's just really simple and really easy to kind of get out there. But if it's a little bit tricky, don't worry about it. But again, I'll play it through one more time. If you're, you're not feeling comfortable with it, pause the video, practice it a little bit, uh, replay it. But I'll go ahead and play it again right now and go ahead and play with me on that and, and until you're pretty much feeling comfortable. And I'll just run through that maybe twice. that you're just gonna go ahead and sing the chorus again with that and I'll go ahead and demonstrate play along sing along whatever works best for you actually switch back to our other pattern of chords that we were using the G E minor and F for the part that says did she run away did she run away I don't know 
and so basically the strumming pattern is going to change again just a little bit and the easiest way that I can describe to you on what the strumming pattern is here is to kind of strum every time that you say a new word or a new note and that's probably the easiest way for me to do it so I'll go ahead and show that to you just briefly what that's gonna sound like my strumming pattern is mainly just down up down up but obviously um, when you're hitting each of those the timing is gonna be a little bit different so as you know in the song it's gonna go did you run away did she run away I don't know but for that first portion up to the word no I'm just strumming every time that I sing a note and so with the G you're gonna go did she run away did, and then you're gonna switch to your E minor did she run away And then when you hit the F, the strumming pattern is going to be just a little bit different. It sounds super, super similar to the original strumming pattern that we we're using down, up, down, up, down, up, but it's just a little bit different. I don't exactly know how to describe that without just playing it for you and letting you practice, but it's going to be like. So it's going to sound something like this down up down 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 up down down up down 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 up down <laughs> does that make sense slot it down and replay that if that did not make sense i know that's a little bit complicated but one more time it's down up down 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 up down down up down 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 up down on the f so I'll go ahead and play that portion for you again through once really, really slowly, and then I'll add the words in. You're gonna repeat that pattern twice just for this little section. So starting on your G chord, okay? the words in and I'll sing it go ahead and play along when you feel comfortable with that did she run away did she run away I don't know but if she ran away if she ran away come back home then you're saying just come home no strumming at all so hopefully that makes sense up to this point that is pretty much everything that you need to know to be able to play this song everything after this is just gonna be repeating what you've already learned and so you should be pretty much set but I'll go ahead and play through the whole song for you really really slowly so you can practice playing along if you do find yourself forgetting a certain point, please go back in the video and re-watch that specific portion, whether it be the strumming pattern or the chords. That's totally, totally okay. It takes a little bit of practice to be able to learn the song. So when you feel comfortable and you think that you want to play along with me, go for it. I'll go ahead and do that right now for you. And as you remember, we're going to go ahead and start by playing the A minor chord on the beginning of this song and we're just gonna be plucking each individual string before we do the strumming in the second verse. Okay, I'll go ahead and start. Cold bones 
Last one, I just take that D minor and I just strum down once, and that's the end of the song. So I hope that this video was at least helpful to you today in some sort of way. And of course, as always, you can return and play again anytime that you want when you need a refresher. If you really do have any other songs that you want me to play, please let me know down in the comments. I'm always always looking for new suggestions. I want to be able to put out some new content for you that you enjoy and songs that you'd like to hear, but I can't do that unless I get suggestions. And so I really do take all of those seriously and I would love to hear what songs you think would be best for me to play on the ukulele. And as always, please subscribe to my channel. I don't do this just because I want to get famous or for money. I really do this to put out content that you enjoy. And so if this is something you enjoy and you want to see more tutorials in the future, subscribe and I would love to be able to do that for you. As always, have a good rest of the day. Bye!